afternoon, squad, and welcome to another vlog. So today it is Sunday, and I just got done doing some grocery shopping. I went to Food Basics, and I'm going to do another grocery haul for you guys. Because <laughs> I, I know you guys love these grocery hauls. So I'm going to show you guys this week's specials and how much did it cost so this is everything that i got at food basics for 86.89 so 86 dollars and 89 cents let's start off right here i got some mixed vegetables these are just frozen mixed vegetables i got me some popcorn yes i got some activia yogurt you guys all know how i love these i got some tomatoes some bananas these are so good. You guys all remember I had done a review on this. If you guys haven't yet checked out my review on these, go check it out. Link will be in the top of the description. But I love these, so I got two of them. They are on sale for two for $5. Got some bananas. I think I did say that. I have actually found some tater tots. So let's move some stuff. We got some tomatoes right here. Let's see if we can move this over here. We got some tater tots. Got some chocolate chip and blueberry muffins. These are so good. You guys don't know I love the blueberry ones. I never tried the chocolate chip, but we'll try them. I got some grapes. I got some detergent. Got two. They were on sale for $6.97, I think. So I got two of the Tide laundry detergent. Uh, what else we got? We got some bread over there. Got two loaves for $5. Got some chocolate bars, $1.25. I actually got three of them. Got one, two, three. I'll show them after. But I also got some goldfish. These were two for five dollars. Everything was mo mainly all two for five dollars. So I actually loved these sales. I got some craft dinner. Craft dinner was on sale for seven eighty eight. Got some cucumbers. You guys know how I eat cucumbers for every meal. Got some broccoli. I also got more tater tots. These I got some tater tots and some smile fries. These are so cool. I love these. So all of this. $86.89, all of this. I feel like every time I do grocery hauls, I seem to be getting a lot more for almost the same price. And I think it all depends on how much you buy and what you buy. A lot of times you got to buy because they're on sale. You can't buy them because they're not on sale because that's how you spent more and you get less. So you get them on sale, you get more groceries. So I'm back in my studio and I'm having some of the leftovers from yesterday without the tortilla. We're just gonna have some chicken and some of the peppers. We're gonna have some lunch and then we're gonna either gonna film some reviews or we're gonna edit. And to drink, we're gonna have some water. <sighs> Refreshing water. Now I am eating a Pop-Tart. <laughs> this is a strawberry Pop-Tart. One of my favorite Pop-Tarts, so. I'm eating that. <laughs> the three chocolate bars that I got was the 45% cocoa. This is one. The other one is whole almonds with milk chocolate. And the last one is hazelnut with milk chocolate. And these were only $1.25 per chocolate bar. So that's pretty good for for being chocolate. So I got three chocolate bars for $1.25 each. So there was what? That'd be three, three seventy-five. dollars That's a pretty good deal. So I'm having a dinner now. We're having some beef stew, homemade beef stew. Oh, so good. Potatoes. Carrots, some meat. Meat is so tender. So I just got done uploading yesterday's vlog. So if you guys haven't yet checked out the vlog, link will be in the top of the description. Carrot potato. 
This is like definitely comfort food when it's cold outside. You want something nice and warm to warm you up. Beef stew. Big potato. So good. I'm gonna say the one thing that I've always said when it comes to eating and I'm about to eat. Bon appetit everyone and let me know in the comment section below what you guys are having for dinner. Let's talk about it. So that way, maybe I can try your recipes on the vlog. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys like beef stew. All done. <laughs> this was really good. Right now I am just getting ready to film a review on Fruity Pebbles. Let's see if we get the Fruity Pebbles. Yeah. I think this is the French side. Yeah, this is the English side. So I'm getting ready to film the review. So if you guys all stay tuned, I'll definitely let you guys know throughout this week when this review will be posted. I just got done filming the review on the Fruity Pebbles Post Cereal, and this is a review you guys will not want to miss. I'm not sure why they discontinued this in Canada. We used to have it, discontinued it, and I don't know why. The States, on the other hand, had this for the longest time. They still have it. I'm not sure why they discontinued it to Canada, but Post, if you guys are watching this, keep these on the grocery store shelves. So today has been a very slow day. Not much has happened beside going to Food Basics. I always do my Food Basics run every Sunday, either afternoon or morning. So I grabbed some groceries. You guys all seen what I grabbed. This morning for breakfast, I had a wrap. I made my own farmer's wrap at home with a hash brown and some eggs. I forgot to add some ham because I do have lunch meat ham. I should have added, I forgot. I'll show you guys how I make my farmer's wrap on Tuesday. I was gonna do it Monday or tomorrow, but I thought let's do it for sure Tuesday because I do have a lot more time on Tuesday. So I'll definitely show you guys how I make my farmer's wrap. I had made a farmer's wrap a couple months ago on the vlog and I showed you guys the farmer's wrap i'm not sure if you guys have seen that vlog if i can find it i'll put the link at the top of the description today's farmer's wrap was delicious it was so good crispy hash brown and some fluffy eggs with some maple bacon seasoning also i added a slice of cheese you have to have cheese on a breakfast wrap right so like i said i did a little bit of grocery shopping it was like 86 and some change I do hope you guys all enjoy the grocery hauls that I do for you guys. I do as much that I can. If I go to the dollar store, I'll definitely show you guys a few things that I get at the dollar store. Also, not just from grocery stores, but also the dollar store if you guys like to see dollar store or haul. I also love using Instacart. When times that I don't want to go to Walmart, I use Instacart. The drivers, the shoppers are fantastic. Like I said before, tip them very well. If you guys like to use Instacart and you guys have never used Instacart, use my link. It'll save you $10 off your first order. I definitely recommend you guys also getting Instacart Express membership. It gives you a lot of benefits. You have to check Instacart to check out all their benefits that they offer you for being an Instacart Express member. I definitely really enjoyed it. I think it's like $9 a month and you get like free delivery. You get some discounts. Why not? If you guys can save some money while getting groceries, why not? And like I said, use my link. It'll save you $10 off your first order. Why not? And I'm going to say this also, if you guys want to use Skip the Dish and you guys have never used Skip the Dish, definitely use my link. It'll save you $5 off your first order. So why not order some good food and save some money? So I'm going to call it a night, but I hope you guys did enjoy today's vlog. If you guys did, you guys want to show your support for me doing these vlogs for you guys, you guys know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe as always, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you never miss a vlog. All my links to my social media in the description. So until tomorrow, peace out.